Hey, what's up everybody? I am still hard at work at my service mission, but I figured I would do. A uh, quick little run of the series here, because I, I have a surprise for you guys. I don't know how much I can talk about it, but uh, I'm just gonna give you a little update, one year update on what the fourth gen All right, here we go. Heading to Tempe Square Shopping Center. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the hot button to speak with a rider support agent. Figuring this out. Our team is working to get you moving. Please remain in the car with your seatbelt fastened. A rider support agent will call shortly to answer any questions. I cannot believe it's been a year and they still haven't fixed that that's just wild like <laughs> what is it just, some surely some people take longer to oh, uh, get going but who knows there's some people pointing us out here that's like that's lots of fun so I'm gonna actually try and turn on my hotspot here without killing the video it doesn't kill the video. Uh, oh, it killed the video. Okay, we're gonna start that again. All right. So yeah, I'm doing like, I think I'm, I have a surprise for you guys, but I have, I'm doing two videos uh, ahead of time. Just, uh, yeah, you'll see can't tell if the screen is really just that flickery or what like how am I supposed to stabilize the screen camera if it's I don't know I don't know what to say but yeah so yeah as I said I'm still hard at work uh, at my service mission so that's why these this little uh, pre-run of videos before the big surprise that I'm not, still not sure I can talk about uh, is gonna be uh, coming out a lot slower. However, yeah, I'm getting uh, getting a lot of work done, doing a lot of service in the community, so that's cool. Uh, if you want to read my blog, it's right here. Got a lot of entries, but anyway, yeah, it's a good time. Once again, the speed of this car is in kilometers, and it's tiny, so 360 camera won't be able to read it. Sorry about that. Maybe one of these days I bring a uh, a second phone with me and start recording some like data telemetry stuff, like on speed and G-force and all that, but. See, did my hotspot even work? I don't think it did. <laughs> my phone is so old, it, it can't even run a hotspot and record video at the same time. But that's, a, that's okay. It does a good job. But that means I can't... Here, I'm going to try it one more time. the story is I guess I I guess I can't do what I used to do in these videos because before I stopped the videos I had I used to work somewhere that I had a work phone and so I had the Waymo app on my work phone and that would make things easier but nope not today
That means I can't test the Spotify. Oh man. <laughs> I bet you it's still broken. It still is when I tested it uh, a few months ago. Doesn't uh, seem like anything's changed on the on the UI since we left off here. But uh, yeah, you can. I guess you can see on the dash there. There's the little mounting thing they use for that uh, safety driver screen, which uh, they've actually gotten rid of in all of their fleet cars, and so now it's just the phone on the, with the operations app, uh, which is kind of disappointing, but, you know, I guess it makes sense, because then, you know, you know, then you can't see, you can't spy on if the, if the remote assistance people are watching you or not, because it used to tell you. Um, yeah, oh well. But really, this this feels very similar to how it did a year ago. Uh, and since my last video, they, um, they, I'm pretty sure, I, you know, all my, all the stuff I'm trying to get about, uh, information about Waymo is all really through guess and check and all that, but, um, I'm pretty sure they stopped testing all their 4th gen uh, Pacificas in the Chandler service area and moved on to Phoenix, 5th gen, and San Francisco and stuff. Because you don't really see Waymo cars around here anymore unless you call for one yourself. Are you... Okay, I didn't notice this before, but every time a car comes up on the left and passes, uh, this car, like, kind of hugs the edge of the lane. I don't know if I just didn't notice that before, most likely, because I've heard, I think I heard them talk about uh, how it would do that with trucks, but that is, that is cool. I mean, I feel like I, I kind of naturally do that when I drive, too, so it makes sense. It's just so subtle, it's, yeah. And, uh, yeah, as for, as for these videos, I'm, I'm recording this before uh, September 5th when uh, there's a there's a summer ride discount and I figured it would be nice if I could take advantage of that discount before you know uh, because what the ride I'm doing here would have cost forty dollars but now it's only nine dollars so then it's it's a little more palatable a little more, can stomach that a bit better. Oh, uh, geez, I'm gonna have to dig up my After Effects uh, graphic for that for the traffic light countdown. I, a lot of my assets that I used are probably deleted or buried somewhere in my old drives, and I don't know. But there's some dudes staring at me. <laughs> if it, uh, I'm being blocked by the. Uh, by, I believe that's the B pillar. I mean, if I could wave at them. Hey. Oh, yeah, I waved at them. There we go. <laughs> people's, people's reactions are always great. I love it. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, rec I'm recording these videos like a month or two in advance of the surprise that I'm still not sure I can talk about yet. I'm going to say probably not, but I have a surprise. Um, but yeah, I'm just recording these before the discount runs out, and then I'm, in all likelihood these are coming up sometime in October, but... Anyway, this, this is just like yeah, year on update of what the fourth gen rides look like, and then we'll move on to surprise. <laughs> yeah, it feels.
feels like it's old, smooth self. Always a good job on the braking and accelerating. Really smooth lane change that I literally didn't even notice. So how smooth it was. Every every little once in a while, there's a little a little robotic hint, a little reminder, a little jerk of the wheel here, a little twitch brake there, but still, yeah, it feels exactly the same. Something's creaking up there. That's the thing. Oh, I think it's the plastic shield. No, maybe not. But this this plastic shield is really nice for camera mounting. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Okay, here comes another unprotected left for the pile. Will it be interesting? No. Okay. That's good. That's good. <laughs> wow, I really hope the uh, front camera is not overexposed right now. That'd be pretty annoying. But, uh, since the last time my... The little arm I used to clip my phone onto the screen here actually broke. So I got a new one that's a little more steady. And hopefully that should make things a little more easy to see. Um, really what I should do next is kind of is get a, a little black piece of fabric here to get rid of all the reflections on the screen. Let me know if you... Maybe I'll... Maybe when I come back next year... Yeah, I'm not, this is not an official return, by the way. This is just a two-episode series that I can only really edit or publish on on Saturdays. I mean, technically I could do it on weekdays, but I'm just, I'm really busy in the week now. So, yeah. It's, uh, it's good. I, yeah, I should have thought of that. So, dang it. Um, yeah, so since last time, there's been, as we go over the freeway here, uh, there's been a lot of uh, Waymo Via Class 8 trucks and I-Paces spotted on the local highways, 101, 202, uh, I-10, 60 West. Those are all places I have seen, seen uh, vehicles romping about. Um, Waymo vehicles, that is, so, and, uh, yeah, they, they posted on Twitter a few days ago, and confirming it, so, yeah. Also, since last time, there's uh, I've been on uh, German TV twice <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, a show called uh, Galileo. Or the first time it was Galileo, and then the second time I think it was somebody associated with Galileo. I don't I don't know exactly, but it was like a Vox Automobile or something, and they, we did a we did a piece, and I was like. Okay, yeah, that that lane change kind of sucked. But, but yeah, we did a we did a piece on, or they really they did the piece on Waymo. But I was kind of their chauffeur, service area chauffeur. So I like, because I'm really familiar with the the app. So I, I uh, you know, I 
was able to kind of get the cars moving and kind of do what they wanted it to do to get the get the TV shot, which is just pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, that was cool. They had a rented minivan, and they like kept the door open and they kept pointing. They pointed their camera out the side of it, and that's how they got those really nice looking. Uh, B-roll shots. <laughs> and then we went through a neighborhood and they, they opened the tailgate and then the dude was hanging out the back of it. Like, it was great. That's, uh, that was a good time. Every time somebody spots it. Hi! <laughs> this, this has been around here for years and people are still like, wait, what is that? Wait, what? That is, oh, it's hilarious. those people but it was drawing the bounding box of the vehicle on the on the screen there uh, a little bit bigger than the car actually was which I guess is pretty smart I don't know exact details on why or what how it would have done that or if it's just like a... yeah what is what does that bounding box really represent I guess it's it's not really the exact width of the vehicle as far as I can tell but it would make sense if it was just kind of an aesthetic thing, but is that like the, the area it won't... I don't know. I really... One day maybe I'll, I'll work there in software dev, figure out all the secrets. guy that likes these cars, that's all. <laughs> oh, seriously though, what is rattling? Yeah, it always really impresses me how good this, how solid the pedestrian tracking is, even in uh, these last gen sensors. It makes I'm like, I'm, and I'm thinking about uh, when will the Chandler service area get the eye paces for ride hailing? I'm like, I guess they don't really need to because they, they proved that you know level four, uh, excuse me, the gen generation four sensors are on the Pacific as they're good in this ODD, but yeah, that that, that uh, person standing over there on the corner was like leaned over, kind of like tying, sh tying their shoes or something, and still, yep, just perfect detection, love it. I mean, I know, I know it's like blindingly obvious, of course they'd be really good at that, but still. 
with all the like Tesla's not seeing children kind of thing going on these last few weeks. That's if that puts in perspective how long ago I'm recording this. <laughs> yeah. Tesla. <laughs> I always try to look in the the windows of Teslas around here. That's because there's a lot of Teslas. And I'm, I'm always wondering if I'm gonna catch somebody using autopilot or enhanced autopilot or something like with no hands on the steering wheel. But no, nah, seems like everyone kind of seems like they're driving. But I, couldn't really tell you, honestly. So, here we go 20, 20 seconds to go on the red light here. Probably. Oh, I just realized the, uh, 360 cameras lens is not really pointing out the left window very well. I hope you can see out the left window. That's going to be annoying. Because these plastic shields are great for mounting the camera, except this one is like super leaned over. And part of it is broken off, which means it's kind of farther back than it should be. Um... It always weirds me out how they go, how these cars go into the bike lane for the turn. I mean, I guess you're technically, maybe you're technically supposed to do that, but. I, I haven't, if you're supposed to, I guess I haven't really picked up the habit, but. Looks like this car is almost out of gas. I wonder if they'll... Yeah, like... I... They wouldn't have sent it here if it wouldn't... If it was going to be a problem. Yeah, it says a range of 58 miles. Uh... Is that enough to get back to my... <laughs> well, yeah, it's enough to get back to my, uh, my stop, but I don't know if it's enough to... Like, if I were to extend my trip, I know I've heard some people that fly out to visit Phoenix and try these out. There was there was a golden period where only some people had access, but it was technically public. So there were tons of cool people flying out here, and then I was just, like, their, their chauffeur guy. Um, like, people from SpaceX and all that, but... Um, they would always want to try weird stuff, like running the car out of gas and then seeing what happens, which I guess is fair enough, but I don't I don't want to do anything that's not within the expected behavior of a rider, if I can, if I can help it, you know, because then I don't want to, like, incriminate myself, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give it the hand gesture. It's a robot. It won't see your hand gestures. Uh, that's okay. Maybe it will someday. Maybe it does right now. I don't know. Okay, see you later. <laughs>